Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So a common question that I have been getting lately is, hey Adrian, do you eat healthy? And if so, how do you eat healthy on a college student budget? So I think that's a great question. And the answer is I try to eat healthy most of the time. I don't restrict myself though. Like if I'm craving, you know, if I'm out with my friends and I'm craving a slice of pizza, I'll get a slice of pizza. But the way I kind of do my grocery shopping is I try to only purchase healthy things so that I can splurge if that makes sense because I'm the type of girl that if I buy a huge carton of ice cream it will be gone in like two days I'm so serious so I try not to buy stuff like that but I still will treat myself outside of my house to stuff like that if that makes sense um and at this point in time I spend about $23 a week on groceries and I stay full I eat healthy I eat great for only $22 a week you guys so I want to share what I get from the grocery store with you and um, keep in mind that there were a couple things in this haul that I don't usually purchase like bread for example um, but just for this week it's been really cold and gloomy and I crave stuff like grilled cheeses and stuff like that so that's why I got that and then also please stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm gonna show you guys how I make recipes with all this stuff so I buy stuff that I can purposely interchange into different recipes and I feel like that's a great way to save money um, so I'm not necessarily eating the same things for breakfast lunch and dinner but maybe a couple ingredients in each meal are kind of like interchanged if that makes sense um, but alright, so let's go ahead and get started. If you're wondering, I do my grocery shopping at Food Lion. I used to be a Harris Teeter gal, but Harris Teeter is so expensive. So if your bill at Harris Teeter was $50, it would probably cost you, I'm not even kidding you, like $27 at Food Lion. Harris Teeter is like 30% more expensive. So first tip is, you know, know your prices. Like if you have to drive an extra two miles to save $30, do it. Um, but yeah, so I went to Food Lion and I'm just gonna go ahead and like hop right into this and show you what I got. Also, can we just talk about my little audience that I have going on right now? The dogs are just straight chilling. Um, but here is my receipt and I just wanted to show you guys. So the total on my bill for 22 items was $44.08. So when you do the math, this is all gonna last me two weeks meaning that I am living off $22 a week here. All right, so none of this is in a specific order. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first few things I got are some fruits. So first I got pineapple chunks and I got mango chunks. This stuff is amazing and sometimes I put them in smoothies and then I also will use it for the recipe that you're gonna see later on in this video, so I'm not gonna tell you. Um, I also got a bag of corn. These steam fresh bags are awesome. Um, and what I'll usually do is I'll just steam the bag and then I will put it in a container and I'll use bits of the corn all throughout the week. You know what I mean? So it's really easy for me to just pull out. This whole bag is like $1.50, you guys, so cheap. Next, I got this bag of sweet mini peppers. Okay, so peppers aren't something I get all the time, but maybe like every other time I go to the grocery store I will because you can not only incorporate peppers into so many different dishes, but they're really good snacks. If you cut up a pepper with like hummus or like salt and pepper, really, really good snack. And I know that might sound weird, just like raw peppers is a snack, but try it, it's really good. Next, I got a head of cabbage. This is also something that I wouldn't just get, but I always do get one kind of leafy green. Um, I usually get spinach, but I already have some leftover spinach, so I decided I would just get a head of cabbage and try and incorporate this into some stuff this week. Cabbage is also really, really cheap, you guys, so taking advantage of stuff like that. Another vegetable that is really cheap are carrots. Okay, so this bag of carrots, there's like 10 in here, was 80 cents. And you can incorporate carrots into so many dishes, you can also cut them up, and you know just eat them as snacks so I just love buying stuff like this that is so interchangeable next I got a box of mini grape tomatoes all of these tomatoes is only two dollars and once again like I'm gonna say this so many times I could use tomatoes in so many different dishes and you'll see uh, towards the end of this video and side note I used to have a phobia of tomatoes I used to think they were so gross and disgusting and if you feel like that I feel you girl a great way to like start eating tomatoes is by having the baby ones and cooking them um, I feel like they're a Lot better when they're cooked and it's just yeah I still don't really like the big tomatoes they kind of freak me out next I got a cucumber once again you can use this in so many different dishes and to snack with and then I got a couple of avocados so avocados can be tricky because I know sometimes you can go to the store and they're like not ripe at all 
but even if they're not ripe just like get them and then just use them later in the week and also um, if you want to save money on avocados get them from Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's has them in like a big bag and it's really cheap next I got this box of sprouts so this is also something that I don't get every time um, but sprouts are awesome this huge box is only two bucks and I know you're probably like what are you using these for so sprouts you can add to salad you can add sprouts to tacos to like chicken dishes so much stuff and it just adds a really good kind of crispy taste and a leafy taste which in my opinion I like that um, but yeah and they're also they just look really fancy I feel like when you get little stuff like this it can really enhance you know your feelings when you eat because it makes you not feel like you're balling on a budget so I don't know if any of you guys are familiar but in the fall they have these fresh cranberries by Ocean Spray and I love these just for snacking. I'll also show um, how I incorporate them into breakfast and dessert. All right, so next I just got a loaf of rye whole grain seeded bread. As I mentioned, bread is not something that I usually buy. I usually just go right past the bread aisle, but I've just been craving it. So why not? Um, if I don't eat the whole loaf, my roommates can definitely help me. Next, I got a sweet potato. Sweet potatoes are so good. Usually I'll get a bigger one, um, but I just got this for something specific I'm making this week. So I didn't really feel the need to get a huge one. Um, and yeah, sweet potatoes are really really cheap and they taste so good and they're very healthy for you too okay also got a box of whole grain pasta I like to incorporate like little bits of pasta into stuff like pasta salad or maybe like chicken with some pasta on the side so love the whole grain um, brand that they have at food lion next I just got some chickpeas you guys are gonna see what I end up using these for also chickpeas are literally like a buck and they can really enhance a dish so yeah I'm excited about these and then next I wanted to show you guys this I actually bought this for the sake of this video um so quinoa and brown rice are two things that i incorporate in my diet almost every day i want to say quinoa is an excellent source of protein if you don't eat meat or if you do eat meat it's still a good source of protein so a big bag of quinoa is usually around like seven to eight dollars and I do totally understand like that can be considered really expensive if you're on a tight budget um, But just remember that a big bag like that is gonna go a really long way Like I got a bag of quinoa over a month ago and I still have it so um, Just consider like prices of stuff how long it's gonna last you But if you've never tried quinoa and you don't want to buy that huge bag totally check out these minute uh, brown rice and quinoa packs so it's a mix of both of them, and you guys will see me incorporate this into a few dishes too. But yeah, I just want to show you guys these. I've actually never tried them, but I mean, they look totally legit. It's brown rice and quinoa. Uh, but yeah, in case you don't want to, you know, buy a whole bag and just experiment, totally check these out because they're only a dollar. All right, last couple things. These Belveda breakfast bars are amazing. So I usually don't actually eat these for breakfast, but I have them as like a midday snack. Because I'm in class around noon, around like lunchtime, and I don't have time to like eat lunch while I'm in class and stuff. So I like to just pull one of these out in between class, and they're really nice and they taste so good, especially if you dip them in coffee. Oh, amazing. Speaking of coffee, real quickly, I wanted to update you guys on something. I told you in August that I was like limiting my coffee consumption um, just because it got to a point that I like, couldn't get out of bed without coffee, and I was going through like three cups a day just really not healthy so i replaced my coffee with green tea back in august so pretty much every day since august i've had about two cups of green tea every day and holy moly you guys the results i've seen are crazy it has completely sped up my metabolism meaning that if i have a little bit of a junky week food wise i can't tell on my body like i literally like my metabolism has sped up so quickly I feel like I'm eight years old again um and then also it's completely kind of like eliminated my craving for coffee like sometimes I'll still crave a coffee like and I'll go get one but when I wake up in the morning now like I want my green tea I don't want coffee and I know at first the taste can just be really bitter and disgusting but just keep drinking it and it you'll acquire it and if you really need to put some like honey or lemon or some kind of like sweetener in there it's also so cheap i do not miss spending tons of money on k-cups and stuff like that i got a bag of 100 tea bags from the dollar tree for a dollar all right and then the last two things that i picked up from the store first i got this little packet of mozzarella cheese slices this is another thing that i really don't buy i'm not a huge dairy eater i don't like drink milk and stuff um but i have been craving as i've said grilled cheeses so you'll see what i do with this and once again mozzarella cheese is super interchangeable and then i also got 
a bag of flour tacos. I love having tortillas in my house because you can either make tacos, you can make wraps, you can put them on the stove and make tortilla chips out of them. And it's like a dollar for a huge bag. So, you know, why not? All right, so that's my little grocery haul. If you want to stay till the end of this video, I'm now going to show you how I make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with all of this stuff. Before I continue on, let me know what you think of these types of videos. I would love to do more meal prepping videos. I personally don't meal prep. Um, I kind of just cook the day of. I feel like whenever I meal prep, the food just ends up going bad because my plans change. But uh, if you want to see more like what I eat videos, stuff like that, I would love to show you guys. So just let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I make recipes out of all this stuff. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? Just a humble bounty hunter, man. something new or kind of got inspired to grocery shop differently or just get different things next time you grocery shop if you end up getting any of this stuff definitely let me know and let me know how you like the recipes that I showed you these are some of my go-to's so I really hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do if I could give you one tip for healthy eating in college it's just as I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video don't restrict yourself like let yourself still have ice cream and pizza and stuff like that but just don't bring it into the house if that makes sense or like in moderation you know buy like small cartons of ice cream so you're less likely to demolish the whole thing if you have self-control um you know I personally like I don't buy frozen pizzas or like frozen you know ready dinner meals and stuff like that I would much rather save my junk consumption for when I'm out with friends and just enjoy healthy food by myself at home and also like if you buy you know a huge huge bag of chips and you live alone like you're gonna eat all of that you know like no one's gonna come eat it you know what I mean like unless you have friends over but like you're gonna consume all of that so if you don't want to be eating as much chips buy small bags so that you are limited to that amount um, you know, if I ever have a sweet tooth, I literally just go to a gas station, I get a bag of gummy worms. So I don't restrict myself, but I just don't include junk food on my shopping list. Because I don't want junk to be part of my routine. I want junk to be like, okay, like if you're craving it, go get it. Does that make sense? Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening to me babble for the past like 15 minutes. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.